Welcome to this presentation of the DICE subscription and recurring billing app. My name is Anna and in the following minutes I will show you an easy way to use the DICE subscription and recurring billing app to offer, sell, ship and invoice items with recurring services in just a few easy steps. In the following example, we are a company that sells coffee machines in a B2B context. Right now, we can see the Roll Center, which is our first entry point into Business Central. This page shows the customized DICE subscription and recurring billing Roll Center. Let us start with the sales code. First, we are going to choose a customer and create a new sales code. As we can see, the main fields like name and contact are already filled out. This company wants a quote for a new coffee machine for their office. So we just choose the coffee machine that we want to sell. In the background, assigned service commitments are automatically added to the sales quote. Let's have a look at the printed sales quote. As you can see, the service commitments will be added without any manual effort. It is divided into an initial sales price plus monthly or yearly service commitments, so that with just one quick glance it will be visible to the customer. The document shows the total of the recurring yearly maintenance fee and if the quote would contain other recurring fees, they would be displayed in a separate block according to their invoicing period. Let's assume our customer accepts the sales quote, so we're going to transform it into a sales order. As you can see, the service commitments were also taken along from the sales quote into our new sales order. So let us ship this order to our customer. While this is happening, the DICE subscription and recurring billing app creates service commitment items in the background. With the DICE Essentials app, which you get for free when buying the DICE subscription and recurring billing app, one of the features you get is the preview of the invoice before posting it. So the system just creates a virtual invoice without posting anything in the background. To use this feature, you just have to click on Invoice Preview in the posting menu. As you can see, the invoice number is not filled yet. Besides that, the invoice is exactly the same as the possible posted one. Now we can invoice our coffee machine. Let's take a step back into our role center. As we can see here, we now have two service commitments that are not yet connected with a contract. We can now assign the service commitment items to a contract with just a few little steps. First, we assign the contract number to the service commitment item. In the drop-down, you'll see all contracts assigned to the customer. Then we click in Assign Selected Services to put the item into the contract. As we can see, the service commitment item is no longer displayed in our queue. It is connected with a contract. Now we can simply start invoicing our contract. To do that, we click on the recurring billing action in our role center. Now we have different options to select which contract you want to invoice. In our case, we created a billing template that filters on all contracts with the contract type coffee. Here you are able to filter on any criteria you want, such as customer, invoice recipient, shipping address and so on. Let's create a billing proposal. A billing proposal shows all our contracts that can be invoiced to the billing date specified in the head of the page. Now you can choose which of the proposed contracts you want to invoice. Just select the desired contract and click on Create Documents. With Create Documents, we create the invoices. You have different options on how you want to split the invoices, for example, one invoice per contract, per customer or per shipping address. In our case, we choose to invoice per contract. With the click on OK, the invoice for the contract is created. In our billing proposal, the created invoice is added and can be easily accessed. For posting the invoice, you can either post every invoice individually or bulk post the invoices from the list. For our vendor contract, we can simply execute the same steps as we did with the customer contract. Thank you for your attention. For further information, check our homepage dice.cloud or contact us via mail on hi at dice.cloud.